this is a very difficult disease. We have been doing a lot of trials over the last two decades, and one after the other had been really not positive. It's really difficult to impact on OS in, real, in the relapsing setting. We now know that uh, this disease is very dynamic in the biologic evolution and uh, uh, is becoming really resistant and uh, in resistant disease is really difficult to tackle therapeutically. Anyway, we have seen some hints of activity. You know, uh, if we were to start the trial today, likely we wouldn't go with Lurba plus Doxo. We are not sure about the addition of Durbo, of Doxo to this uh, combo. We know that we are actually not able to give full doses of Lurbanactidin. So, you know, uh, in, that, in that sense, the activity of Lurba alone is at least as good. And of course, uh, the toxicity would be much better. In terms of combinations, we are now trying a number of combinations, particularly my group has been involved in two combos, one with a chicken. The initial data are prom really promising. Response rate 62%. PFS for those patients in the trial was actually longer with the second line Irino plus Lurbe as compared to the first line platinum netoposide in that particular uh, cohort of patients. And of course, the combination with uh, 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 atisolizumab and uh, another PD-1, PD-1 inhibitors is also very attractive. The drug itself is able to reshape the microenvironment to a more immunogenic one. And the initial data with uh, pd one inhibition in combination is really good. And those data will be released within the next few months uh, in a, in a coming meeting.